Hello friends. Welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture microbiology. And today I'm going to talk about rickettsia. Ricket Ricketsia Ricketsi It's a Ricketsia Ricketsi I call it as Okay guys So before starting a discussion on this important bacteria I would request you to subscribe to our channel That's Alan and Law And please do share our videos with your friends So let's start a quick discussion on this here I am going to try my level best to help you guys for USMLE examination. Rickettsia. Let me brief you with Rickettsia family. They are gram positive or gram negative. They are gram negative. They are gram negative. They are bacilli or the rods. They are bacilli. They are gram negative bacilli. Remember. And usually too small to stain well with the gram stain. They are aerobics. Okay, they are aerobics. Okay, they are obligate intracellular bacteria. Okay, obligate intracellular bacteria, OIB, obligate intracellular bacteria. So, the important medical bacteria, medical, what you call rickettsia for medical practice, you should know is a rickettsia, rickettsi, rickettsia, acari, rickettsia, prosecchi, rickettsia, typhi. And, and um, Orientia Susugamashi. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, so here I'm gonna talk about Rickettsia Rickettsi. Okay, so what's the reservoir for this? Really very important. You should know that's a small wild rodents and large wild and domestic animals, especially dog. Okay rodents small wild rodents and dogs or animals okay puppies what's the transmission how it is transmitted it's transmitted by hard tick it's a hard tick that's derma center Dharma Dharma Center. Okay, it's the name of the this uh, heartache. Try to memorize this. This is really very important. Okay, so whenever you think of rickets here, rickets see, think of what you call a Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. This is really very important. I'm gonna talk about this later part of this video. So let me talk about the pathogenesis, how it acts. You guys, you know the capillaries, right? The blood vessels, the capillaries. These rickettsia, rickettsia bacteria goes and invades the epithelium. If this is the epithelium, it goes and invades the capillary epithelium and causes vasculitis. Okay? Vasculitis. And it can affect many important organs like brain, liver, skin, lungs, kidney, and the gastrointestinal tract so as you know the important disease caused by this bacteria is a rocky mountain spotted fever rocky mountain spotted fever okay so it's present and very prevalent in the east coast of America that's Oklahoma Tennessee North Carolina and the South Carolina the usual presentation of this disease is if this is a man and these are his hand hands okay and the legs okay let me draw the legs okay very small man okay if this is a knee uh, what do you call knee joint okay All right so the rash initially presents from ankles okay from ankles then it will or ankles or you can call it the wrist Okay, and colorist. So rash can appear from this, this, and ultimately it moves to what you call chest, 
trunk palm sole okay so this is how from here right right it moves like this so it's a centipedal right yes so the patient will present the headache fever fear of one or two grade malaise myalgia toxicity vomiting confusion okay and they can be an ankle or a wrist swelling okay so the important point over here is just remember that you should not waste wait for uh, titles to come or a diagnosis or a laboratory findings to come to start a treatment you should start the treatment that's really very important catching point over here okay so what are the what do you call uh, how would you diagnose it we have a serological IFA test serological IFA test okay very important okay fourth fold increase in titer is diagnostic fourth fold what do you call four fold four fold increase in the titer is diagnostic okay regarding the wheel flex test is not only done nowadays okay so no longer no need to remember but uh, for US MLA, sometimes they can ask you this so just try to remember wheel Felix test is positive what's that that's nothing but a cross section of the rickettsia antigens with OX strains of proteus vulgaris okay right what's the treatment for this is nothing but do 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 doxycycline yes the treatment for this is a doxycycline remember how would you treat how do you prevent it tick protection and a prompt removal doxycycline effect in exposed persons so these are the important features of what you call um, rickettsia. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.